So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and set up Touch ID on your particular iPad. Now, luckily for you, it's a very basic process and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go and make your way over to your settings application. Now, when you do that, you'll come into this page. Now, what you're going to want to do next is you want to click on this Touch ID and Passcode option, which should show up on your particular iPad. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and click Add a Fingerprint right here. So tap on Add a Fingerprint, and it's going to go and bring you into this Touch ID sensor right here. So now it'll go and tell you to start by either pushing your thumb or your you know, particular iPad, you know, your faint index finger, whatever you have. So here you can go and place your finger as you normally would, just back and forth, over and over and over again, and just give it a few moments until it fully configures and fully like picks up your particular you know, fingerprint sensor right there. So you just have to do this a couple more times, and then it will go ahead and kind of go through and it'll just indicate your finger. You may have to do it a couple of times for sure, so then after that, it'll capture all your fingerprint. So now what you want to do is you kind of want to just like move the outer ring of your particular like thumb to like all corners. So imagine you're just kind of like going through and like quickly just kind of rubbing your particular thumb around it. And then when you're done with that, it's going to ask you to set up a passcode if you don't already have one. So in this case, we'll just go and create a numeric custom passcode. So actually, we're not even going to do that. We're going to do a custom four digit code. So here, what we're going to do is just 0000. zero, 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 zero. It's just going to use it anyway because it's the easiest one. So do this over and over and over again. And then once you're done with that, that's really all you're going to have to do. As of this point, you should be good to go. At this point, you should be good to go. And if you go ahead and turn off your iPad now, and you go and use that same finger, you should be able to see that if you place your finger on it, it should now unlock it with your Touch ID sensor. So that's basically how it works for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.